It's been a minute. Hey, what is up? Hello. It's been a really hot minute since I have sat down in front of a camera and filmed a video. Um, November was the last video that I was the last time that I uploaded a video, um, and that wasn't even that wasn't even a book related video. That was literally a video about me learning Spanish. I've tried to start this video a couple of different times, um, all in like vlog format. Like I've got like <laughs> I've got like three clips of me like trying to start a vlog, and it just like it never felt right to just try and be like super casual about it. Like I don't know, maybe I'm being dumb and like maybe it doesn't actually matter like at all, but like it just it doesn't feel right to try and be like so casual about being absent for so long and then coming back and just trying to be like hey what's up i'm gonna read 30 books this month like here you go um like that's just i just it just like doesn't feel right i guess like i kind of feel like i owe you guys an explanation um which like like i said like you probably don't actually care and you're just like just get to the video which like same um but yeah so for those of you who do not know i spent all of last semester in ecuador i was studying abroad um i was living with a host family i was traveling a lot um and i just i never really found time to ever sit down and film um so that was really hard that was really challenging um and then i just honestly i just like wasn't really reading at all in Ecuador. I read a couple of books in Spanish. I read Anna and the French Kiss in Spanish. Um, I read Children of Blood and Bone in Spanish and those are all books that I've read before. I think my whole semester I think I read I read one book in English. Um, I read The Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin um, and like it just I don't know it just like it it felt weird. I just never really it didn't feel like the right environment for me to be making videos in and like I don't know maybe that sounds so dumb but like I just I couldn't do it I couldn't bring myself to do it so I just I didn't um and then so I got back in the middle of December right before Christmas um and since then I've read like three books maybe it's March. It's- today is March 10th. Like, the semester's been pretty challenging, actually. Um, I'm back. I'm in the United States. I'm at, like, my normal university. But it just, like, my course load is so much more here, um, that, like, one, like, I just- I don't really have that much time outside of school and classes, homework and work. I just like I genuinely just don't have that much time and I know I know you can always make time but I'm a history major I have so much reading I get assigned like 400 pages of reading a week um and so when I do have downtime I just like I haven't been gravitating towards reading as much as I normally do I I've been playing video games I've been listening to music um and that's fine like those are things that make me happy and that make me relaxed and like that's cool but I just I genuinely miss reading so I recently I've been trying to make more of an effort to read more in my downtime to read for fun again um and it's been really challenging I mean like it's been nice in the last I've read two books in the last like month ish I read the Thief by Megan Wallen Turner. Um, this is a book about a boy named Eugenides, and he is a he's a world-renowned thief, and he claims to be able to steal anything. And so one day he's caught bragging about having stolen the king's seal. Um, and so he's taken to jail, and while he's sitting in jail, um, some servants of the king come and they say, "We will free you." if you can steal us an item. 
And so this whole story is just all about him going on a journey with these king's servants to steal a sacred item. Um, I can't really say any more than that without like giving away the whole plot. Um, but this book ended on a huge plot twist and I am so excited to get to the second one because like at the end of this book, the universe just kind of like opened up and there is so much potential in this universe. Um, and there's, I think there's four more books out. Um, so I'm very, very excited to continue with this series. I think it's going to be so much fun. And I just, I flew through this. It's like, it's not even 300 pages, like, and I flew through it so quickly. So this was really, really nice. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I gave it 3.75 stars, um, just because like it had to establish a lot of things, um, but it was a really, really strong start to the series. So I really, really enjoyed this one. And then the second book that I read in the last like month-ish is Lavinia. Um, oh God, <laughs> I don't know if it's, shiny so like I don't know if you can actually see that um Lavinia by Ursula Le Guin um so another Ursula Le Guin book if you've never read her highly highly recommend she is just so atmospheric so magical her writing is absolutely amazing it's a retelling of the Aeneid from the point of view of Lavinia who is the woman that Aeneas ends up marrying she's Latin um she's a woman that Aeneas ends up marrying and ends up fathering a line of kings who will rule Rome. 100% this angle is different. I am so sorry. My phone just like, I record on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 7, so I record all my videos on my phone. It just like shut off and didn't record. So we love that for me. Um, so yeah, so this angle is different. So mm, sorry. Um, but like I was saying, uh, Lavinia is about it's a retelling of the Aeneid, um, a feminist retelling. It's absolutely fantastic. It's so atmospheric. The writing is magical. It just, like, I genuinely have no words. Like, it reminded me so much of The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, partially because of the content, partially because it is a retelling of an ancient epic. Um, but the writing styles were just very similar. It was very, I don't know how many times I can, like, call it atmospheric but it was very atmospheric and just ghostly and magical and I just I highly highly recommend it if you really like the song of Achilles to maybe give this a try because it's prime stuff um so yeah so those are the two books that I have recently read um and I am hoping to be able to get to a little bit more. Um, essay season is kind of coming up, so I have three essays and a creative research project that are all going to be due in the next like month. So I don't know how much I'm going to get done in the next month, um, just on by the virtue of being a college student. Um, and so, but I just I really want to get back to it because I've really missed it and I really miss that part of myself, I think. The book that I'm planning on picking up next is the second book in the Queen's Thief series. Um, it's the second book to The Thief, um, also by Megan Wall and Turner. I don't really know what I'm saying, I'm just kind of rambling. Um, this one's a little bit longer, but I'm hoping that it really that it kind of picks up like immediately where the other one left off, I'm hoping, um, because that one had a lot of plot holes. I'm hoping that it's the same characters, kind of the same premise, I guess. Um, but I'm very, very excited to get to this just because, like I said, the other one, the world at the end of the first one just opened up so much. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to see where, where this goes and what is going to happen to Jen, I'm so excited. I absolutely fell in love with him. He's an icon. We stan. Yeah, so I guess um, this is gonna end sort of my update. It's been, um, I think this turned out probably a lot longer than I meant it to, which is fine, but um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. You guys can expect a vlog to go up within the next like week or so um 
And so until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.